Well, hi everyone. Today is our last story together in this domain. What does it mean to be healthy? Not infected with disease, doing things that promote or indicate good health, being strong, being able. Those are all ways that we can show that we are healthy. Take a look at this poster. What does it show? That's right, it shows the different body systems. Can you identify the different body systems? For example, do you see the skeletal system? It's the system that gives the body its shape and helps the body to move. How about the muscular system? It allows the body to move and gives the body strength. Do you see the circulatory system? It keeps blood flowing through our veins. How about the nervous system? It sends messages between the brain and the body. Do you see the digestive system? It keeps nutrients and gets rid of solid waste. And how about the excretory system? It gets rid of liquid waste. Well, today's story, we're gonna review the functions of these different body systems. And we're gonna learn ways that we can help to make sure our body systems continue to run smoothly and stay healthy. I want you to listen carefully to the word calories. As I read, I want you to listen to how we burn calories and why calories are important to staying healthy. But before we start our story, let's take a look at four other words besides calories that we're gonna hear in today's read aloud. The first word that you'll hear is network. A network is a group of people or a group of things that are all connected to each other. How about this word, recovery? Recovery is a good return to health. This next word is terms. Terms are words or phrases that are used to describe a thing or an idea. And the last word we have today is windpipe. The air passage from the throat to the lungs or the trachea is called the windpipe. Now you'll hear these words today but none of these words will you add to your vocabulary books. Take a look at this, boys and girls. What are you looking at? Yes, you're looking inside a human body with all of its many complicated parts. Can you find the stomach and the intestines? Who sees the kidneys and the bladder? Today, we're gonna to review some of the things that you've learned about the human body and its network or arrangement of important systems. Let's start with a system you learned about last. Which system helps you to sweat and pee? Yes, the excretory system. And who remembers other terms or words for sweat and pee? Yes, perspiration and urine. Have you tried using those words with your family and friends? Which system is responsible for processing your food into nutrients that your body can use and getting rid of waste that it doesn't need? Yes, the digestive system. Raise your hand if you can tell me the name of the tube that carries food from the mouth to the stomach. That's right, the esophagus is your food tube. We didn't talk about it, but there is another tube right beside it called the windpipe. It leads to your lungs. Can anyone guess what travels through your windpipe to your mouth, from your mouth to your lungs? It's something else that the body needs to live. That's right, air. Look at the picture of the human body in this image. Look at all of the bones that make up the skeleton. What's that system called? That was an easy one, wasn't it? The skeleton is part of the skeletal system. Here's another easy one. What systems do muscles belong to? Yes, the muscular system. The skeletal and muscular systems work together to help you move. Nerves are part of your nervous system. Do you see the nerves running like highways across every part of the body, traveling up the spinal column all the way to the brain? Don't confuse the nerves with veins and arteries, the tubes that carry blood through the body. The nervous system and the circulatory system look very similar. That's because blood covers a lot of territory We've talked about nutrients and the way they travel through your blood to support your body systems. Without blood, these important substances would have no way to nourish your body. 
the circulatory system circulates or moves your blood. Take a look at this picture again. Can you identify the nervous system? Can you identify the circulatory system? Remember, don't confuse the nerves and veins and arteries, the tubes that carry blood through the body. Without blood, these important substances would have no way to nourish your body. The circulatory system circulates or moves your blood. Does that hint help you now identify which of these is the circulatory system and not the nervous system? Okay, let's keep going. You know that each body system performs a separate function and that each system is made up of organs. Organs are made up of tissues. Tissues are made up of cells. From largest to smallest, the order is organs, tissues, then cells, which are the smallest. Let's think about skin as an example. Moving from the smallest part to the largest, skin cells combine to form skin tissues. And those tissues combine to form the skin we see it. That's the way the human body works. It is important to keep your cells, your tissues, your organs, and your body systems all running smoothly. You can do that in many different ways. We've talked about the importance of making healthy food choices. Food gives you energy to grow, breathe, move, fight germs, and heal. Some foods have more nutrients in them than others. Choose a variety of foods, especially those high in nutrients. Choose frozen yogurt over ice cream. Choose a skinless chicken breast over fried chicken. A baked potato instead of french fries. A glass of low-fat milk instead of a chocolate milkshake. Balance your daily diet with several servings of grains and fruits and vegetables and smaller portions of dairy, meat, and eggs. Remember to eat only a few sweets and fats. And don't forget that fresh food will give you lots more vitamins and minerals than packaged ones. So head for the produce aisle or a local farmer's market and stock up on kale or broccoli and pears. Besides eating a well-balanced diet, what are other ways you can keep your body healthy? Exercise or staying active can help you maintain a healthy body weight. When you exercise, your body uses energy from the food you eat. The amount of energy that food provides to the human body is measured by calories. Food labels list the number of calories or the amount of energy in packaged foods, telling you how much energy is stored in them. You should eat enough food each day to provide your body with about the same amount of energy that it uses up during the day. If you eat too much and don't exercise, your body will store the extra food energy as fat. If you don't eat enough to satisfy your body's needs, your body will use its stored energy and you may lose weight. You are burning energy all the time, even when you are sleeping. But your body uses more, much more energy to exercise than it does to sleep. If you weighed 100 pounds, you would burn about 40 calories just by standing still for 30 minutes. But if you walked for 30 minutes, you would burn about 120 calories. You would use up three times more energy by walking as you would by just standing still for the same amount of time. Here's a puzzle for you to solve. There are about 160 calories in a snack-sized bag of potato chips. If you burn 120 calories by walking for 30 minutes, how much longer would you need to walk to burn up all the calories in that bag of chips? What types of exercises do you think might burn the calories even faster than walking? Exercise keeps your heart and lungs working well, fights off illness and disease, and builds strong bones. Make exercise a daily part of your life. Walk and cycle instead of getting in a car. Climb stairs instead of taking an elevator. Swim, play soccer, take karate or gymnastic lessons, or shoot hoops with your buddies. All of these are good forms of exercise. Choose what you enjoy and have fun. Keeping clean is another important part of staying healthy. There are many types of germs that can make you sick, bacteria, the tiny one-celled creatures that Anton von Leeuwenhoek studied are one of the most common types of germs. Bacteria are everywhere. They are an important part of nature and most bacteria 
are not your enemies. In fact, many bacteria live in your gut and help you digest your food. But millions more live on your skin, and some of them may be harmful. That's why it's important to wash your hands often and well. Wash them throughout the day, especially before eating. Besides hand washing, making sure that you clean every other part of your body is important too. Take frequent showers and baths, shampoo often, and keep your fingernails short and clean. Brush your teeth regularly to get rid of old food and germs that feed on it. Use floss to keep your gums healthy and get rid of food stuck between your teeth. Regular toilet habits are signs of good health. Most of the time, you don't have to think too hard about these daily habits, but sometimes your body reacts and lets you know that you need to take extra care. Sometimes, feces become hard and dry, making them difficult to pass. That's called constipation. With diarrhea, the opposite thing happens. Feces become loose and runny and may signal an infection in the intestines. When waste systems do not function well, Drinking lots of water usually helps. Make sure to listen to your body and the nerve sing signals that it sends to your brain. Don't put off using the bathroom when you need to go. How many of you wake up feeling tired in the morning? Has ever anyone asked you, ever asked you, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? If you're tired or grouchy when you wake up, that may mean that you're not getting all of the rest that your body needs. Most seven or eight year olds need about 10 or 11 hours of sleep each night. As you sleep, damaged body cells and tissues are repaired and replaced. If you are sick, sleep will help speed your recovery or your return to health. Eating well, exercising, keeping clean, getting enough rest are all good ways to keep your millions and billions and trillions of tiny cells working properly. You should also make sure to have regular checkups with a doctor or other healthcare professional. I have loved sharing my knowledge of health and nutrition with you. Your body is yours alone, and you alone have the power to take care of it your whole life. Now that you know what to do to keep it in good condition, I hope you will treat it as well as you would any one of your favorite machines. I'm sure you'll agree that you'll never find another machine quite amazing as the human body.